Thanks, Josh. Now, on Thursday last week, Syracuse was actually holding meetings for anyone interested in, in being a SEM 100 facilitator. Now, with these meetings came an introduction to new things being added to this course. And if you take a look at Not Again SU's demands, changes to SEM 100 was something that they, that they had called for. Now, however, after speaking to protesters today, they were not included on these changes to the course. And not again, SU had made a full curriculum for the school to use. However, they mentioned that their ideas were not being used by the school. Now, not again, SU stated that, quote, it's frustrating that students put a lot of time and effort into a curriculum for the school to not use it. In addition, one major change made to SEM 100 was the removal of the required reading. Not again, SU responds to that by stating, quote, I'm glad it's removed, but why was it there in the first place? It doesn't speak to diversity on campus. Now, protesters also say they want the course to fully encapture the protests that have been happening since 2014 up until the ones happening now. Now, the most recent one, uh, the most recent course planning on ignoring campus protests, the course isn't planning on ignoring these protests going on, and they are planning on having discussions about them. And not again, issue responds to that change by saying, I 100% completely agree. I don't think anyone should ignore what is happening here. However, it needs to be in fully incorporated in the course. Now, not again, SU states that they would want further parts of the change in this course and redesign, and they say that these protests won't be necessary if this course was fully effective. Reporting live from Krauss Heinz Hall, Walker Simmons, Citrus TV News.